Hello everyone, in this tutorial I would like to cover some of the main features in Retouches uh, Plus. Uh, so after you install the extension and then open your Photoshop, go to Window, Extensions, and then Retouches Plus 5. Now there's a few things that you need to do before you start using the extension. One of the things is uh, you need to make sure that you're using the chaotic brush set or some features might not work properly. So click onto your paintbrush, right click onto, your, onto the image and then click this little gear icon. And then just make sure that you tick uh, the chaotic brush set. Uh, if it's not here, then you can also click load brushes and then just browse just browse to where our where you downloaded the the brush set and then just double click and it will load and then that's done another thing is your quick swap light needs to know uh, where your images on your computer are your sky images so click quick swap light then click this link here Scroll down and then go to your folder where you hold your skies. Then just copy that URL. And then under custom sky textures path, then you just paste paste that URL and click set path. And then it's done. So now your extension is basically set up. So now you can do your sky swaps. Okay, so now that we have our sky tool set up, what we can do is we can just click on quick swap light because of the sky that we have here being a light blue sky. So it's quick swap light. Now we go into our blue skies. Now before we choose a sky, we want to actually have a look at our image and we want to take a sky that matches this image. So the sun is on our left sides because if you look at the shadow, the shadow will guide you to and show you where the sun actually is. So we're going to put an image with a gradient. So we can take this one. Now let's start brushing it in. So if you look at this image, our gradient is on the right hand side. We actually need uh, the, the lighter area on the left side because of the sun being on the left side. So go into Cinemagraph Tools. And click mirror sky so now the gradient is on the proper side basically um, what we can also do is we can just we can move the sky a bit higher so I'm going to pull the slider a bit to the right let me see how far we can go okay that's too far let me just undo uh, undo again okay that's fine so what we can actually do is, um, this is a JPEG that you can save from this, but you can also open your window and click on Timeline. Now what we can also do is you can click Player, and then clouds would be moving. So you can also render a, a, a short clip using your sky, um, your sky image. So just in case, you know, uh, Sometimes it gives a nice effect having the, the, the clouds move. So that is done automatically when you do your sky replacement. So if you want, you can save your MP4 by clicking render. And then just choosing the name, choosing the quality. You can, you can just have a play with the settings here and then just click render. Um, what you can also do is, if you would like a different sky, click on Chain Sky. And then just go and have a look for a different sky and then double click and it's done. You don't have to brush it in again, you don't have to adjust your mask again. It would just change out the old sky with the new sky. So we actually still need to, we need to flip the sky though. So let's murder and done.
actually we can also let's just make the sky a bit lighter because that's a bit too dark it doesn't doesn't look natural so control or command l but first make sure that you clicked on this layer mine was already clicked on this layer because i clicked change sky so but if it's not clicked on this layer then just make sure you click onto your sky layer and then you bring up your levels and then just make sure that it's matching the image that you have there and uh, yeah when you're done you'll still have the animation applied so but if you're not going to do any animations then you can close your timeline and you can click onto your image and use the move tool and you can just move around the sky like this because it's not going to be an animation the reason for these tools over here are if you if you need to stretch the sky or squash it down or move it up or down you need to move around your sky you you have to use these tools if you are going to use to save your image as a video uh reason being is because if you do this if you start doing this your animation is going to be messed up so it's not going to move how you want it to move it's going to look weird that is the reason for the cinemagraph tools here you can move around your sky you can stretch it and so on but if you're not going to bother with saving an animation then you can just click onto the sky and you can drag it around and do whatever you need to do you can flip it you can doesn't really matter but yeah that is the reason for those tools um, Okay, so let me just flatten this. We did our sky replacement and we're happy with that.